Hi, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'll show you how you can access population density data, a uh, graded population of the worded, uh, sometimes you can call it GPW data, which is um, generated and provided by NASA, the Socioeconomic uh, Data Application Center, uh, CDAC at NASA. So you can directly, you know, go ahead and access this data from the NASA uh, CDAC website. But most importantly, since we're using the EarthGen data library in this course, um, you can also access that, um, you know, demographic uh, population data on EarthGen, uh, the EarthGen data catalog here. Uh, you can type in GPW if you're interested to, you know, look at that data. There are a few versions. Um, so let's go ahead uh, to code editor and you know how to access um, the um, GPW, GPW population density uh, global data okay on our engine. So the first thing I'll do is um, declare a variable called data set here. Um, I'll call that image as an image collection. So uh, instead of accessing all of them I'll uh, try to access the first image in the image collection. That's why I write dot first and um, a parenthesis uh, semicolon to close that statement. And the other thing is uh, would because there are multiple data sets in this image collection, so I need to call this data set and select um, you know population density, the specific um, you know layer that I'm interested uh, in this analysis. And next, um, I will create some sort of visualization parameter, you know, such as, you know, the mean and the maximum values in this um, uh, data and also you know, color palettes. I'll provide, you know, color codes for my visualization so that I can differentiate between, you know, low density and high density uh, areas. So mind you, this is a global data we will be uh, visualizing global population density estimate map over here. Um, shortly. So the last thing is I'll create some sort of map center, uh, you know, lot long information and a zoom level um, so that I can, you know, focus on my, my um, um, you know, map canvas over here. And then finally, uh, plot the, the population density data here raster. I'll call it here in the map um, at layers. So if you um, you know, um, cast map dot add layer on other earth engine. It will help you visualize um, that uh, layer in the map um, canvas or the map dashboard. So raster is my um, you know population density data here, and raster viz is a raster visualization palette um, you know parameter that I've created already here, and I'll name the um, the name of the layer as population density um, as it sh you know once once I execute this code it will show population population density over here so let me save the script um, and finally run the script to execute this um, code and display population density data here you go excellent so here so the yellow area is low population density area, whereas the the brown and dark brown areas are high high density pop, highly um, populated areas, or just was areas with high population density. For example, this is you know the Egypt, the Cairo uh, metropolis area. If you um, zoom, um, if you uncheck the population density data and I change the satellite background instead of you know the map you can see that um, you can zoom in uh, you know here you can see this is a uh, pretty hold on a sec there you go so if you overlay the population density that's the brown you know area if you zoom in really here you can see um, urban areas um, over here. Um, this is Cairo, a uh, major um, you know, city in, in, in Egypt, uh, the capital of Egypt rather. Um, so you can see so population density data 
um, can give you a pretty good estimate of where people are on on the planet um, you know because this is a global data you can visualize and look at where people are um, so as you can see most of the Sahara desert um, is you know pretty um, sparsely populated or almost um, you know uh, and if you compare that to uh, some of like West African coastal areas uh, you can see the fa fairly, you know, populated um, areas. Um, you know, this this uh, Nigeria, um, you know, Ghana uh, and Cameroon would have you um, relatively high populated. Um, you know, high population density compared to the you know some of the central, just the northern uh, Africa. Um, so one other interesting observation here is if you look at here, you know, you, you notice that, um, you know, Australia and, you know, most of Africa is not that, I mean, population density is not that much really high. And if you look at Canada, it, it's just crazy, you know, how um, sparse population density is. Um, so you know mind you population density doesn't mean there there are not people it's it's the ratio of people um over uh, you know an area so so that means there are in this low population density area there are a few people on a certain you know uh, a certain um area or selected area so compared to canada for example if you look at the united states uh, pretty much, um, you know, if you look at this, these are the major cities in the United States. You can see here, especially the East Coast, um, you know, major cities. You can see it's pretty, um, um, you know, dark brown, which indicates high population density. And then if you look at the, the Midwest, um, pretty much sparse, uh, obviously sparsely populated. If you look at, you know, the Bay Area, uh, California or Northern California you can see pretty much high dense density of population um, the last thing here we want to look at is just if you look at Asia actually one of the the major um, you know you know global population is concentrated here um, you know over 2 billion uh, you know people live uh, around this part of the world so as you can see here India you know China um, you know looking pretty brownish which indicates very high density of population in this part of the world so you know you might ask I mean this is a course in public health application remote sensing so um, you might ask like so why is this important uh, because we're talking about public health right so public health is like human health. So if you're talking about human health, the health of people, you know, you need to know where people are located, right? Where people are living. What is the largest population density or it's where the, the places that are um, residential for people? Um, then you can, I mean, you can associate this, for example, with, you know, many parameters. Uh, that that cause uh, or just environmental factors or air air pollution and what have you. You can also it, you know population density, the location of population with other diseases um, you know causing factors. Um, so which we'll discuss in the upcoming lectures. So this is uh, an example how you can uh, display. Um, a global level population density using um, the Erzingen um, API.